Hey gang. Why well, I didn't even get a chance to start that before my phone went up. Yeah. We are looking at 90 a little over 95 degrees in the shade. Uh, buddy Bruce up north, my northern friend, just did a uh, Bruce Pender. Uh, recently did a video on his um, 1998 Z71 and uh, I thought I'd go ahead and do one on Old Blue walk around and do one on uh, Clifford uh, I have noticed when I do walk arounds people sort of kind of like to see what's going on so we'll get her done Bruce good job on yours we'll holler at you guys in a minute in this sweltering heat Boy, I'll tell you, the things I do for you guys, I'm going to step out into the sweltering heat. Let's go through uh, Old Blue here. Uh, like I said, Bruce Pender recently did a walk around of his 98. This one is a 1990 WT 1500, also known as Old Blue, affectionately known as Old Blue. Uh, it's powered by a 2 point, or excuse me, uh, isn't that awful, 4.3 liter. I knew my phone was going to go off again. 4.3 liter Chevrolet V6. And interesting thing about these engines, it's uh, GM's second, what was called an odd fire engine to uh, be produced. The first one was back in the 1960s, uh, which later became the Dauntless in Jeeps. Uh, it was an odd fire V6. It was a 225 cubic inch versus uh, 2.8 liter versus the 4.3. Uh, so they've come a long way. What they did with this one was they took a uh, 30 or 350 block and just whacked two cylinders off to make it. And the firing order is six. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see if we can see it on the intake manifold here. Where it is. I don't remember where it's at on this. I know where it is on 350s. Well, but anyway. It is, but here's the engine. Uh, why bother cleaning it? It's a work truck. I just make sure I don't have any uh, terrible leaks or anything like that. Um, I always date my air cleaner so I know when I change them. I just use a permanent marker on the rim of the uh, air cleaner. Uh, typically, I get the frame so it's orange and the black shows up pretty good. Um, haven't had too much trouble, trouble, talk much trouble with this truck uh, since I got it. Just little things here and there. Um, all the gauge uh, sensors have been replaced with the exception of the O2. Um, it does blow cold AC, believe it or not. Uh, it's been converted over to the R134A. Um, let's see, what is it? It's a Harrison compressor. Uh, I don't remember who made who made the old compressors. Was it Frigidaire? Anyway, um, she does really good. You can see the uh, fluid level is up on the uh, warm mark and that's because it hasn't been sitting here for very long all right phone that's enough of that um it's got the standard work truck ugly front grill uh standard black bumpers nothing fancy there get inside this truck has um i thought it was three yeah it's got three options that's it just three options the three options are weird enough Intermittent wipers is one. AC is the other. And rear sliding window. That is it. That are, that's the extent of the options. I opted to put a later model seat in with an armrest, make it comfy cozy, and the headrest as well. Um, the old seat is still here. It's sitting out here, and sometimes I go out and just sit on it and watch the... Uh, squirrels and rabbits and all that fun stuff. This is just a carpet runner, like a hallway carpet runner that I got and threw in there. And you can see there's not much dirt in it. I tend to keep even the ugliest of vehicles uh, clean and clutter free. Oh. And we'll skip around. Uh, and I keep absolutely nothing behind the seat. Uh, flashlight is always close at hand. This one has a crenellated bezel, glass lens. It's a maglite LED. And then a glass breaker. You never know when you're going to come up on an accident where you know somebody's trapped in a vehicle and you need to help them get out. 
that right there will do it. Just whack the, uh, that's a hardened point on the aluminum cap. No, yeah, there you can see. So anyway, there's that. Wasting a bunch of time making a really long video that doesn't need to be that long because we're just talking about an ugly truck. Uh, you guys have seen I've got the uh, tri, tri toolbox set up, uh, big deep, and it's the deep box. Not as, not the deepest, but still uh, plenty deep enough for me. That holds everything that I need, uh, and it even holds uh, a couple of my more expensive chainsaws inside the box so I can keep them locked up. A lot of tree felling equipment stays in these two side boxes, like my ropes are over there, my measuring stick is in here. I've had people ask me to do a video on how to measure a tree from the ground. I might do that for you guys. <coughs> uh, these boxes uh, came from my buddy, Barney. Um, I, I'm Fred and he's Barn. He's Barney Rubble. I'm Fred Flintstone. Uh, why, I don't know. Just, I don't know. Weird. Jason uh, on Facebook. Um, but anyway, uh, there's branch loppers in here. This, it doesn't really matter. And I'm getting ready to take my oil down and recycle my used motor oil. I use quite a bit in my wood stove, but I still wind up with a surplus. I've got about eight gallons here. I do an awful lot of service in the springtime. Uh, this is new to the truck. I was at the junkyard and I grabbed it off a truck that was out there. And interestingly enough, which was kind of cool, uh, it had this hard liner on it and the hard liner rolled up around the top of the edge. So I took it and I just turned it around and it actually fit. It just rolled the edge up underneath the uh, bottom edge of the tailgate. Uh, most of these tracks, everybody knows the rust problems that they've got. You know, you've got fender well rust, you've got cab corner rust, you've got rocker panel rust. If the rocker panel rust gets bad enough, then you end up with uh, door corner rust, so on and so forth. And this truck is no exception. It's got all that rust, but the inside of the bed, this liner has always been in it, and there's always been a camper shell on it until I got it. And so what that has done is it's helped shed the water off because these cups, as anybody knows who has who lives in the rust belt and has uh, one of these style trucks, these cups always rust out really bad on both sides. Well, these two have zero rust and I'm constantly keeping them uh, greased, well coated with grease so that they will not rust. Uh, tailgate shuts doesn't rattle, which surprises me too, but again, that's uh, contributory to the um, way that it was cared for. And it was cared for fairly well, with the exception of, say, there's no rattle in that tailgate. Taken care of exceptionally well, considering is just an old uh, beater work trick. So. Um, I purchased another one of these steps. I was paid for something I didn't expect to get paid for. And I always just blow that money if I don't expect to get paid for something. Just kind of treat myself. But another lovely black bumper. Uh, and, you know, uh, one other thing. The frame on this truck is absolutely beautiful. I did have lost one body mount. And it was the forward doghouse left radiator. Uh, and the only reason that that one rusted out was because the water guard fell off at some point in time and allowed water to get up there and it festered and it caused it to rust out. And I don't care who knows what my license plate is. Everybody always blocks them out. But anyway, uh, this step allows me to, because I've got a bum leg, just get up there and get up in the back of the truck. And it's got five positions. And you've got the stowed, and you can still step up with it in the stowed position, so you're not having to knock your uh, shins all the time on a, on a fixed step. Uh, another nice thing about it is you've got your tailgate down. Well, that step is, it's kind of awkward. Just grab the step, lift it a little bit, pull it out, set it back down, and there you go. You're up and running to the races. I've got, I've got one of my neighbors looking at me funny. They're like, what the heck is he doing? Oh, that fell on my butt. Um, going back around, a little worse rest over here. Same cab corner deal there. And I always spray, spray, spray to try to slow the rest down a little bit. Um, and I just use a uh, rust inhibiting 
yeah, that stuff. Uh, rust, and, uh, rust inhibiting paint. And driving, they were driving down the road, and I heard a big smack, and I looked over, and this whole piece here was gone. So I pulled off the side of the road, went and gathered up all the pieces, and as you can see, I've got a number of layers of duct tape. As the duct tape wears out, and I found the Gorilla Tape actually works really well. I will just put more duct tape on it. I'm not going to spend the money to get a new vent visor for that. It's got a good one on the other side. So, oh, you see that mud? That mud is, will be three years old in August. That's from the Portland show when we had to ford through about 18, inch, 18 inches of mud. And I slung that mud left and right and I had uh, my buddy Brian behind me and I said dude don't slow down just come in and follow my mud tracks where I've hit hard ground I went through that mud about 30 miles an hour and Old Blue just went right on through it so but anyway that's Old Blue uh, in all of her wonderful glory there really isn't much else to say about her very dependable truck she's always been a uh, good hard worker uh, she pulls hard that little V6 uh, on the highway I have gotten as good as I believe it was 24.6 miles to a gallon so and where are we at on mileage we are at focus 250,879 hers like a kitten a good oil pressure Whoops! Even in the heat, have good oil pressure, 30 pounds. Uh, lifetime warning on the voltage regulator. And the gas uh, gauges always went bad in these. This one actually works awesome, and so does the one on Clifford. So, anyway, aftermarket stereo, put that in, because uh, I just really don't like the factory stereos. They're kind of wonky. Uh, cup holder overload, I did forget about that. Got two cup holders there. Got that out of the junkyard, ten bucks. And two cup holders there. Trash can over here. I got stuck by a train. Was sitting there sorting out what to keep, what not to. So that trash needs empty. There's all my gas receipts, but I keep the bare essentials in there, like uh, tire pressure gauge, pair of pliers, a multi screwdriver, so on and so forth. And then the side box side box has got uh, papers that need to go into the house, a couple of, uh, couple of automotive bills, and then all these receipts need to go in the house. They're from like Walmart and groceries and stuff like that. And then this truck takes an awful lot of keys because I've got two cables, uh, just an awful lot of keys. So all of these keys are for accessories that I have on um, Old Blue. And yes, that is even a key. <laughs> it's what holds my uh, hitch. My receiver closed on my old Sears tent camper. So, but anyway, there's all blue. A typical sagging headliner. It's not in my face, so I don't care. And Daddy's so proud. His daughter looks like a mugshot, but it's not. Uh, got her driving permit the other day. So, anyway. That's long enough. That's enough Zippo babble. I'll catch y'all later. I'm getting out of this hot truck. Stay tuned for Clifford. Clifford. Later. I'm out. Well, I just did a series, and I'll put this on both of them. I uh, did a quick little two-vehicle series on Clifford and Old Blue, and I wanted to uh, explain my keys a little bit. There's a method to my madness, and my being obsessive and compulsive obviously shows here. Uh, these are my Jeep keys. These are the keys to Clifford, red, keys to old blue, blue, and I'm jonesing for a red key ring. Uh, these key rings are really nice, and uh, anytime I find them at this one particular store I go to, True Value, I grab them up. Uh, you just pull that pin, and there are balls on either ends of the cable, and allows you to put anything you need to on there. Uh, but to explain these um, these are off of my beloved Rubens my 15 year old Fox Terrier that I had to put down. Those are uh, 
parts of his collar. So that's why they're on there. Um, keep a little piece of them with me no matter where I go. Helps keep me safe. He always loved riding in the vehicles with me. I mean loved riding in the vehicles with me. So he uh, is still doing that. So a zippo later.